Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So normally on Saturdays, at least the last few months, I've been watching episodes of the Ricky Gervais show this week. I only have a certain amount of time to record and not just for Saturday. Like I'm not going to be able to record again for a while. So I had to look for a shorter video and this was something that was recommended quite a few times. It's been a while since this was recorded. I had watched something like this, some kind of skit like this with Johnny Depp and then something else with Johnny Depp uh, and Warwick. So I'm excited to see another skit. Sorry, it took so long to get to it. I'm excited, so here we go. Wow. Okay, let's do some improvisational comedy. I can't now, Liam. It's a bad um, time. Which... Let's do some improvisational comedy now. Uh, okay. Give us a scenario, Warwick. Um, right, okay. Uh, you're a hypochondriac and, and Ricky's a doctor. Nice. Excellent. Uh -huh. It's okay. Really quickly, this guy's an actor, right? Because his, I see his face and I know his name is Liam Neeson. I don't, Neeson? Liam Neeson? I don't, I don't know. I've definitely seen him, him. I just don't know where. Anyway. Mm. It's okay. Knock, knock. Come in. Hello. Oh, no, not you again. Uh-uh. I've never been here before. So I, I thought, because you're a hypochondriac, you would have been to the doctors before. Don't presume. That's a backstory we didn't agree on beforehand. No, I know. That's improv, though, isn't it? You sort of go with the flow. I don't take notes. OK. Can we go again, yep. because you ruined that? Sorry. <laughs> Knock, knock. Come in. Hey. Hi, how's it going? What seems to be the problem? I've contracted AIDS. <laughs> How did you get that? <laughs> I want to see his face. He didn't even look surprised. He just looked like he was so disappointed in Ricky. That's the face. How did you get that? From an African prostitute. I'm, I'm riddled with it. Riddled. The prostitutes from an African country that's, that's ravaged by starvation, so... Selling her body was the only financial recourse she had left. Do you mind if I interject Go for on. a second? Sorry, I just think it's getting quite heavy, this yeah. sketch, and I just wonder if perhaps, just for the sake of comedy, you, you might not want to have contracted AIDS from a, an African prostitute, just... Uh -huh. Good point. OK. All right. He doesn't seem very friendly. Knock, knock. Come in. I'm going to stop pausing in a second. I'm a little bit afraid this is going to get blocked because the one with Johnny Depp I had problems with. Is he this? I feel like if this is a skit, this is he's prepared and he's being this way intentionally. Or is he this serious in this committed to his work that he's not having fun with the improvisational comedy? All right. No, no. Come in. Hi. Hi, what seems to be the problem? As I said before, I've got full-blown AIDS. Right. Do you want to know how I got it? Sure. I'm a well-known homosexual actor. Wow. OK. It was I wouldn't say the name just because of the... I got it from an unspecific actor. Does he know he has AIDS? Who? Again, I just, sorry, I just wouldn't I name wish them. I knew what um, I was and saying. also, I just think uh, AIDS is, as I said before, just a really heavy subject for comedy. Ah, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, good at battle cancer. Uh, yeah. Cancer, though, and AIDS and famine are just not really subjects for comedy. Well, how does he get away with it, then? We don't know. Well, <laughs> we shouldn't have a doctor in the sketch if I can't talk about AIDS. OK. okay. Mm. What do you suggest, then? Oh, um, you're a greengrocer and uh, Ricky comes in to complain. I've played Rob Roy McGregor, Michael Collins, Oscar Schindler, Zeus, for God's sake. No one's going to believe me as a greengrocer. We could change your accent. Lots of actors do that. Well, he doesn't. How does he get away with it? Again, we don't know. Let's just do our own accents and get this done, shall we? What's a greengrocer? Okay. Greengrocer. Like, just... Tring! Is a greengrocer somebody that works at a, a grocery store? Supermarket? Someone who works at a farmer's market where they sell fresh produce? Done, shall we? Okay, green grocer. 
entering. We're closed. I think the shop has to be opened for us to do the sketch. Okay. Okay. Sorry. That's true. Entering. Yes. Um, I'd like to make a complaint. Uh -huh. I've, yeah, I bought some fruit here yesterday, and when I got home, some of it was rotten. That's not my fault. Well, you know, it. it's your shop, and it was sold uh, on your premises, so... Uh-uh. I uh, wasn't here. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, you've got to... I was at the doctor's. OK. I've got AIDS. thought you might have. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's really good. Yeah, no... That's gonna... You're gonna storm it, boy. OK, brilliant. Good luck with that. Well done. Um, don't forget your little list. Yeah. Uh, You're off as well, aren't you, Warwick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. OK, see you guys. We're good. All right. Cheers. Is he trying it? Wow, that was loud. Is he trying to prepare him to do comedy? Because that was funny. That was funny. When he said I wasn't here, I was at the doctor, I was thinking getting checked for AIDS. I didn't realize he was going to say it. It was funny. I like that it was light, and I like it that it was short bit-sized I like that even though it was a skit so pre-planned it felt like just this awkward stumbling you know like a friend and you are trying to do where you're hopping in the potato sack potato sack race is that what it's called where two people hop in a big sack it's like they were trying to do that but one of them was trying to do it like with his leg bent or something and kept making them trip up and they were trying to help him up, but he's like, but my leg, I like it bent. You know, that, but with a skit with their mouths. I enjoyed it. Let me know what else there is that is like this. Because I watched the Johnny Depp one that was where they were sitting at the desk, a Johnny Depp one with him and Warwick. And um, that might be it as far as little skits like this. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you very much for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.